Sustainability is hot, and no one knows that better than the Elephant Pepper Company in Africa. This is the story of how Elephant Pepper works towards sustainability for the company as well as the growers and surrounding environment. We're in Mozambique, and this is where Elephant Pepper is building its latest chili pepper concept. Amongst other activities, the company's core business is the production of chilies to mash. The major objective here is to be sustainable and, and to build a business based on our core principles of um, respect for the environment, for, the, for our stakeholders, in particular the people we work with. What we're trying to do here is, is, is create a business that can stand on its own two legs through just doing business. The concept here actually is relative, relatively simple. We are, we're engaging small-scale farmers to grow peppers for export. My dream is to be able to be in a good place because a worker who works well can receive it well. It's a good dream because he will eat well, he will be dressed well, and my child will be studying well. Elephant Pepper oversees the entire process from cultivation through to the export of the chili mash. It is one of just seven approved suppliers for McKilhenny, makers of the world-famous Tabasco brand. In 2009, Elephant Pepper exported 300 tons of chili mash. 90% was sold to McKilhenny and 10% was used for Elephant Pepper's own brand of spicy sauces. Elephant Pepper recently expanded its operation to include Mozambique. Here the company sources chilies in two ways. From its own chili plantation and through an outgrower network of independent small-scale farmers. The outgrowers benefit from a guaranteed market and price, encouraging them to invest in quality supplies that yield higher crops. The thing that Elephant Pepper or Piri Pili Elephanti has done here in, in Mozambique is that we've gone out to key customers and made sure that we, we've secured guaranteed pricing that we can offer, offer the rural, rural farmers so we take away the market risk for them in relation to, to uh, speculation in the market. Yes. Okay, uh, agua, need some agua. I just guarantee that I'll buy 100% of the chilies uh, that are offered to me. You know, we'll, nev we'll never leave a chili behind, as we'd like to say. O projeto que vem diretamente para trabalhar com ele, conforme a garantia do projeto de preços que não vai cair daqui para aqui, será o próprio para até ao, ao fim da do projeto de preparo. Então, para mim, acho que é mais melhores para mim. Environmental concerns are at the heart of the Elephant Pepper Initiative. Conflict between farmers and elephants is common in Africa. Elephants often destroy the crops and thus the income of farmers, while farmers kill elephants in an attempt to protect their crops. Elephants hate the spicy smell and taste of chilies, so this is a benefit for chili farmers. You're certainly very aware that you live in an economy that most people survive on $2 a day. Our activities here, our purchasing of chilies, um, has a significant impact on these economies. Um, there is no doubt and there's no question in my mind that, that having businesses like this um, has a significant impact and reduces, reduces the short-term poverty of, of the people we, we work with. É o sonho para o futuro, trabalhando com o elefante Pirpir. Eu gostaria mais ou menos que se eu, o Pirpir, me fazer ter o meu fundo na vida, eu talvez amanhã eu te, deveria ter transporte pessoal para poder eu estar também nas condições ou para melhorar a vida dos meus filhos. An Elephant Pepper Development Trust was set up to support community development. The trust provides training, including agricultural skills, HIV and AIDS awareness, as well as conservation farming. 
The Trust also supports educational projects for participants and their families. Active community upliftment, together with sustainable business practices, were the reasons Dutch investment fund Anona took an interest in this project and its people. The people from Anona um, and I really found middle ground quickly and they could, they could see my, my strong social agenda, uh, my strong environmental agenda, but also my strong need to provide returns back to their social investment fund. And I, I personally think, in my opinion, that's the best way to help Africa engage it. Trade not aid, as we like to say.